Hey, 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 what's up, world? It's your boy G Shrimp, everybody, fake baby daddy, the boys of the street, man. And today, we in Nebraska with it, y'all. So, I was just answering one of my emails, right? It's this uh, lady, she's having a problem with her man, and she just wants questions, you know, answers. She got a lot of questions, and she wants some answers. And she want to ask a man. I guess she figured, I watch a lot of your videos, let me, uh ask you and see what's going on, you know. So I'm like, okay, I heard her, her little situation. I put, I ain't going to put her business out there, y'all, you know, but it's the same old thing, men cheating and doing a lot of the certain things, you know. And um, men cheat for different reasons, y'all. Every man cheat for a different reason. You got to realize that. One man might cheat because you ain't giving him no sex, the other man might cheat because you don't like doing blowjobs. And, and then another man might cheat simply because you don't cook. You got to find out what's going on in your situation. So if it's a problem and it ain't you, like you got a job, you got a car, apartment, and you got all your shit together and he's still cheating, then maybe he just ain't shit and he, you need to let him go. But long as you let him go and let him keep coming back, ladies, he go keep doing that. You know, you know how you really get a man attention? You shut him all the way down. You got the mean. Long as a person can look on your Facebook or Instagram and see how you doing, they don't have to call you or none of that. But trust me, he's been checked on you. It might not feel like that because he ain't called you, but just look on your Facebook or Instagram and see if he looked at something. You can tell when, you know, people been looked at your shit. You know, I do it all the time. I see ex-girlfriends and stuff, and I don't mind because I never leave a relationship bad. It ain't never no toxic shit going on with me because I don't usually cause no problem. My problem usually be I be creeping or it's too many women be hitting on me and sometimes I take the bait. I'm getting a little older now so I usually don't be moving like that. But when I was younger and just a few years back then, that's all it was. You feel me? But the most effective way, like I say, and I, I done done this, you block a motherfucker. Period. Block them from your Facebook. Block them from your Instagram. Block them from your phone. Block them from your life. Period. You feel me? Period. And if a person ain't help you struggle or was with you when you was down, when you get up, don't. Don't go start back trying to get up with them. You feel me? When you was walking, this nigga wouldn't even walk you to the bus stop and you trying to go to work and ooh, ooh. But now you got a car, oh, he want to come over and can he drop you off at work? Hell no, nigga. You ain't never dropped me off at the damn bus stop, nigga. You ain't never walked me to the bus stop. You feel me? You got to stop letting people in your life who don't deserve you. Some of these men, they don't even deserve your time. And then you always got to look at it like this, little sister. A good man might be standing right there, but he looking at you like, oh, she got a man already. Sometimes you never can get what'll be perfect for you because you got somebody occupying that space already. One of the best things my partner told me before he died, he said, Shrimp, in order to get something new, you got to get rid of something old. You hear me? I'm going to say that again. And my boy Reginald Boston told me this. In order to get something new, you got to get rid of something old. Now, that could be a woman. That could be a car. A man. Hell, it could be an even raggedy-ass dog. If that's your boyfriend, your ex-boyfriend dog, when he leave, the dog got to go to. Fuck that. Put that dog ass out of there. That was his dog. He left you and the dog. Tell that nigga come get the dog. Matter of fact, don't tell him shit. Just call the pound and have him come get the dog. Better bet, don't even call the pound. Just open the goddamn gate and let that motherfucker run free. Let him run free. And if he go and come back, then you take his ass to the pound. Say, hey, I'm through with you and your goddamn owner. And you tell the people at the pound that. 
and they gonna be like, good, we wanna make some soap out of his ass anyway. Trust me, they go take that dog. They will take that dog. And you can tell the dog on the way. You talk your shit, you remind me of the last owner, you motherfucker. He left both of us, can't you see? You out there barking and shit like I supposed to feed you. The nigga that used to live here used to feed you. But the motherfucker left me and he left your ass too. You ain't been fed in two days, nigga. Because that nigga ain't came home. And every time he don't come home, your ass won't get fed. So it'll be a whole month before that dog get fed. God damn, he gonna be back there. He'll start talking. Before you feed him. That dog will start talking. Be like, Tracy, look, I'm sorry he left. I'm sorry, but can you throw a bone or something out here? She go, you know, I'm, you know, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Just let me get a bone or something, please. I swear I won't shit in the yard no more. None of that. Motherfucker, straighten up. You could do a man like that, too. Stop feeding that motherfucker. That no good ass nigga doing something, he go to work and come home, be like, baby, you ain't fix me nothing to eat, no. <laughs> in the kitchen, there's food in there, you can cook it. And he be like, but everything froze. Well, when you was treating me right, I used to, <laughs> I thought of food and shit before I went to work and come home and cook it before you get out of work. But since you've been cheating and don't want to come home on time, I never know when you go show up. You got to throw some shit back his face. Uh, I didn't think you was coming home tonight, so no, baby, I didn't cook. I'm sorry. You didn't eat with the bitch at work? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, oh, I get That's right. The bitch off on Wednesdays. Oh, yeah, you thought I didn't know. You, you don't work on Wednesdays, but you've been going. Yeah, and you can thank your best friend that you thank your best friend for that. He tells me that all the time. Every time he come by here and you're not here and he say dumb shit. That nigga was off on Wednesdays. Aw, oh, man, that nigga up there fucking with that bitch, huh? Man, tell that pussy ass nigga I stopped by. But this supposed to be your boy. This how niggas do. You ever wonder how a woman get information that you know she shouldn't have? You know she shouldn't have. I'm talking about here it is. Monday you just met the bitch. Tuesday, your girl know her name. How the fuck? And you be like, wait a minute. I ain't even got her number in my phone. How the fuck? And the only person with you, this nigga. Uh, what's up? And you looking at him like, no, oh, you talked to my girl? Nah, no, I ain't talking to your girl. Why? What the fuck I'm gonna talk to your girl for? Cause she sure know a lot of shit that only me and you know. You feel me? That only me and you know. That only me, me and you know. You know, y'all got to excuse me. We got people walking in and out of the studio. People walking in and out of the studio. But, you know, it's like only information that you and him know. And you be like, damn. Either she got the cop bug or this nigga. <laughs> tell her. You want to know if your boy tell him. Tell him some shit that ain't true and see if your girl find out. And then when she said, oh, so you met a bitch named Tracy? <laughs> yeah, no, nah, but it wasn't a bitch, it was a nigga. I was just uh, using that to see if this nigga was talking. I was lying like a motherfucker. And uh, thank you for letting me know. Thank you. Get the fuck out of here. Get out of here. God 